my friends, meet me again, Jenny Boy. Remember, last episode we have learned about ourselves. So, how about today? Hmm, I'm trying to find out any interesting topic today. Yes, I got it. Animals? Come on, join me to find out about animals. Welcome to the Zoo Negara. Today, we are looking into the needs of animals. There are many types of animals and plants that you can find in Zoo Negara. Like you and me, all animals are living things. They need food to stay alive. Look at this tiger. It chased after the rabbit to eat it. A tiger eats other animals in order to stay alive. Whereas a deer feeds on grass to stay alive. We can say that a deer eat other plants to stay alive. Bird eats the worm to stay alive. The bird eats other animals to stay alive. A caterpillar eats leaf. The caterpillar eats other plants to stay alive. Unlike plants, animals cannot make use of sunlight to make their own food. Therefore, all animals have to depend on other living things for food. Some animals eat only plants. Some eat only other animals. While some animals eat both plants and animals.
Animals can be grouped according to the type of food they eat. There are animals which eat plants only. Naturally, they will never eat other animals. We call plant-eating animals as herbivores. If you will have realized earlier, we saw that a caterpillar eating a leaf. This animal belongs to this group. Can you identify other animals that belong to this group? Take the animals which belong to the plant eating group and cross the animals which do not belong to this group. Rabbit eats carrots. Yes, a rabbit is in plant eating group. A lion eats meat. No, a lion is not in plant eating group. A goat eats grass. Yes. A goat is in plant eating group. A snake eats rats. No. A snake is not in plant eating group. A monkey eats banana. Yes. A monkey is in plant eating group. A giraffe eats shoots. Yes. A giraffe is in plant eating group. A wolf eats chicken. No. A wolf is not in plant eating group. A frog eats insects. No. A frog is not in plant eating group. A grasshopper eats leaf. Yes. A grasshopper is in plant eating group. A zebra eats grass. Yes. A zebra is in plant eating group. A cow eats grass. Yes. A cow is in plant eating group. A spider eats insects. No. A spider is not in plant eating group. An owl eats rats. No. An owl is not in plant eating group. An elephant eats fruits. Yes. An elephant is in plant eating group. A crocodile eats chicken. No. A crocodile is not in plant eating group. So, the animals that are herbivores are Rabbit, goat, monkey, giraffe, zebra, 
cow an elephant an animal which eats only plants is called an herbivore some animals eat other animals only these animals are called carnivores Animals such as lions, tigers, eagles, and owls only eat the flesh and meat of other animals. Animals like the lions, tigers, and crocodiles have sharp and strong teeth to kill and tear their flesh into pieces. Some carnivores merely swallow the whole of their food. Snake swallow chicken. You can call this group of animals the greediest because they eat both plants and animals. We call these animals the omnivores. Animals such as birds and chickens eat worms and small insects but they also eat plants like cereal and wheat bears are also omnivores as they not only eat fruits and leaf but also eat fish Man is an omnivore since we eat both plants and animals. Besides food, animals need water and air to survive. Animals will die if they stay without water or air for a few days. lakes and ponds are free from rubbish and other dirt so that animals and plants are not affected by it. Let's do an activity together. Group these animals according to the type of food they eat. Duck Omnivore Mouse Omnivore Snail Herbivore Bear Omnivore Lion 
carnival. Giraffe. Herbivore. Frog. Carnival. Deer. Herbivore. Eagle. Carnival. All baby animals can grow into an adult animal. When these baby animals grow, it becomes bigger in size and weight. An egg hatches into a chick. The chick is a baby animal. It grows to become a chicken. When the chick grown into a chicken, it becomes bigger in size and weight. Young animals which have been given birth to usually look like their parent. They differ only in size. A calf looks like it's another cow just that it is smaller. A young crocodile looks like a mother crocodile but much smaller in size. A chick, when hatch, also looks like its mother, chicken. Some egg-laying animals do not look the same as their parents. This is a life cycle of a frog. Look at a tadpole. It does not look at all as an adult frog. An adult frog has four legs and no tail, but a newly hatched tadpole does not have any legs, only a tail. Similarly, you may not know that a caterpillar is a young of butterfly if you have not studied science. Because a caterpillar looks so different from a butterfly. A butterfly has beautiful wings and it can fly gracefully from one flower to another. On the other hand, a caterpillar looks like an ugly fat worm which crawls and feeds on leaves. Yeah.
Of a cat is called a kitten. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I understand what is animals. How about you, friends? Animals need food, water, and air. Stay alive. Some animals eat plants. Some animals eat other animals. Some animals eat plants and other animals. Animals grow in size and increase in weight. Some baby animals look like their parents, while some animals do not look like their parents. Okay, friend, I have to go. See you on next episode with another topic. Bye.